everyone. Today we are talking about two of the most famous grand dames of Broadway. While there are so many very important women who have graced Broadway, we are starting with two ladies who have had major, long, very successful careers and continue to do so. Here we go. Bernadette Peters was born February 28, 1948, which means that she is currently 72, although you would never know that. She is a critically acclaimed Broadway performer, having received seven nominations for Tony Awards, winning two, plus an honorary award, and nine nominations for Drama Desk Awards, winning three. Four of the Broadway cast albums on which she has starred have won Grammy Awards. Peters first performed on stage as a child and received her equity card at nine years old. She continued to work on the stage in the 60s and in film and television in the 70s. She was praised for this early work and for appearances on The Muppet Show, The Carol Burnett Show, and in other television work. Peters has appeared in 33 feature films or television movies, including Mel Brooks' 1976 film, Silent Movie, and the musical Annie in 1982 with Carol Burnett and Tim Curry. She starred opposite Steve Martin in The Jerk in 1979 in a role that he wrote for her, and again in Pennies in Heaven in 1981, for which she won the Golden Globe Award. She and Steve Martin dated for four years. In 1999, Peters, along with Mary Tyler Moore, co-founded Broadway Barks, an annual charity event held in New York City to promote the adoption of shelter animals. She has also written three children's books to support the cause of Broadway Barks and has been honored for her humanitarian work. In the 1980s, she returned to the theater where she became one of the best known Broadway stars over the next three decades. She is regarded by many as the foremost interpreter of the works of Stephen Sondheim. Peters is particularly noted for her roles in the musicals Mac and Mabel with Robert Preston, who was Harold Hill in The Music Man, Sunday in the Park with George with Mandy Patinkin, Song and Dance, Into the Woods, The Goodbye Girl, here with Martin Short, Annie Get Your Gun, Gypsy, Follies, and Hello Dolly. My favorite quote of hers is, you've got to be original because if you're like someone else, what do they need you for? Patti Lapone was born April 21st, 1949. She is an American actress and singer best known for her work in stage musicals. She has won two Grammy Awards, two Tony Awards, and two Olivier Awards, which is the London version of the Tony Award. She is also a 2006 American Theatre Hall of Fame inductee. She has performed extensively both on Broadway and London's West End. She won the Tony Award for Best Actress in a Musical for her role as Ava Perone in the 1979 original Broadway production of Evita. I saw this production on Broadway the year it opened. It was a last minute decision because I had an afternoon free and they had an available ticket. Here's the thing. I had no idea what the show was about before it started because I had just sat down right before it started. I was so confused. The entire show is sung, which added to my confusion, even though the singing was spectacular. I spent the intermission reading up the program, which helped a lot. No, I did not look it up on my phone because it was 1979. There was no internet and no cell phones. It was the dark ages. Lesson here, do not see Evita without prior knowledge. It was an amazing production and Patti Lapone was shockingly fantastic. Okay, back to the rest of the story. Lapone played Fantine in the original London cast of Les Miserables. I understand that after her character died, oh, spoiler, she would show up at the barricade as a student and die along with the others. Another spoiler. Okay, she won the 1985 Olivier Award for Best Actress for her work in Les Miserables. She won a second Tony Award for her role as Rose in the 2008 Broadway revival of Gypsy and a second Olivier Award in 2019 for the West End revival of Company singing, here's to the ladies who lunch, everybody laugh. <laughs> More Tony nominations for Miss Lapone. Reno Sweeney in the 1987 Broadway revival of Anything Goes. Mrs. Lovett in the new 2005 Broadway production of Sweeney Todd, The Demon Barber of Fleet Street. Lucia in the 2010 original Broadway production of Woman on the Verge of a Nervous Breakdown. And Helena Rubinstein in the 2017 original Broadway production of War Paint. Another Olivier nomination arrived for her role as Norma Desmond in the 1993 original production of Sunset Boulevard in London. 
which I had the opportunity to see because I had an afternoon free and they had an available ticket. I was able to understand this one better than Evita. But here's the thing about Sunset Boulevard. Do you see the amazing living room set behind me? It was astounding, but wait, there's more. As Norma Desmond, AKA Patti Lapone, was in her living room, the entire room began to rise up into the fly and another set came downstage to play under the living room set. No, I am not kidding, it was wizardry. Then the underneath set moved upstage and the living room set restored with Norma, AKA Patti, still on it and still doing her business in the scene. Okay, going on. She has also done extensive work on television and in the movies. Fun fact, her brother is Robert Lapone, who originated the role of Zack in a chorus line on Broadway. Lapone has become a crusader for etiquette and decorum for audiences watching live performances. In 2009, she stopped a performance of Gypsy to yell at a man to stop taking pictures during the performance. No lie. In 2015, she confiscated a cell phone from an audience member who was texting, then proceeded to exit the stage with the phone in hand. Again, no lie. Following the cell phone incident, Lapone issued a statement to Playbill.com which follows, quote, We work hard on stage to create a world that is being totally destroyed by a few rude, self-absorbed, and inconsiderate audience members who are controlled by their phones. They cannot put them down. When a phone goes off or when an LED screen can be seen in the dark, it ruins the experience for everyone else, the majority of the audience at that performance and the actors on stage." End quote. Let's not be those people. Thank you. <laughs>